Hello everyone, uh, my name is uh, Taufik Orkin. Um, I go by TK. I'm the Chief Technology Officer at uh, SenseTech. Uh, and today I'm going to walk you through a transformative approach to structural diagnostics called face-based motion amplification and magnification video. Um, this is uh, a technology that powers our uh, newly developed uh, video magic and it's changing how we monitor uh, and maintain uh, critical infrastructure from uh, bridges uh, to, to turbines and, and power electronics and, and pretty much everything uh, in between. Um, so let me start uh, with a, a quick overview of what we'll be uh, covering uh, today. Uh, first, uh, we'll define uh, what the phase-based motion actually is and how it relates to uh, structural vibration. And then uh, we'll talk about why this technique is uh, superior to uh, traditional methods like uh, um, optical flow or strain gauges. Uh, and we also explore you know, what uh, motion magnification looks like in, in real life, uh, because seeing is, is, is believing, right? So, and then uh, finally, uh, I'll summarize the key takeaways and show you why uh, this is ready for broad uh, development uh, today. Okay, so what exactly is a phase-based motion amplification? Um, at eye level, this is a computer vision technique that analyzes small subtle motion, right, by tracking changes in the phase of the pixel intensities over time, right? So when you have, uh, for example, a, a beam vibrate, uh, it causes tiny shift in the video signal. So these shifts are normally uh, invincible. You, you can really see them but they carry important structural information. Uh, so by isolating and then amplifying those uh, phase uh, variations, uh, we can turn sub-pixels of motion, uh, something you never see, into a clear visible uh, oscillations. And then the, the best part is that this works with just a video. Uh, no contact required, no calibration required, and then uh, no special uh, lighting required uh, for this method. Now let's dive into uh, the core of uh, video magic. Um, how video magic actually works uh, in terms of the face-based uh, amplification uh, method. Um, this slide I try as much as possible to keep it uh, to keep it simple. Uh, so at the core of uh, video magic is the idea that when the structure vibrates, it doesn't just move, right? It changes how we see each pixel uh, over time. So we represent uh, these changes uh, with this uh, equation, right? Which is, you know, I is the, the intensity of the, of, of the pixel or the intensity uh, of the frame, right? Each pixel on the frame uh, uh, at, you know, pixel X and then time T, you know, comes from, from a point that has, uh, that has moved, right? So that movement is included in the in the delta uh, x comma t which is a function that tells us how much the structure shifted at each uh at each location and 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 time right so the i itself you know is the brightness or the intensity at that pixel at that instance right so for every frame you know you have a giant spreadsheet of uh, of um uh, brightness value and those brightness values are the uh, intensity of uh, of each uh, pixels, right? So how do we uh, extract the motion, right, from the previous equation that we saw? Uh, we use something called the complex stable uh, pyramid filter, and what this does is that it breaks down the image into multiple scales and directions, right? Uh, you can look at it as uh, as a smart magnifying glasses, right, that, that look at the, the edges of the pixel, the, the, the textures of the pixel at multiple directions, at multiple uh, scales, uh, look at the horizontal edges, the vertical edges, uh, pretty much all of the features of, of the frame across every frame of the video, right? And each piece of that breakdown uh, can be written um, as this equation here, right? So the equation on the left, you know, we've seen that that's the equation that actually represents a pixel 
at a particular instant, right at a position. And then uh, when we had the uh, the uh, the stable uh, pyramid uh, filter, uh, we get the equation at the right, which is just the summation of the um, of our you know sub omega uh, x comma t, right? So if we look at this filter, you know, we we see the equation that we are really interested in, right? The first part of this equation uh, is the uh, is the local amplitude, right? Uh, the, the rho sub omega uh, x comma t actually represent. Uh, you can think of how strong each uh, pixel is, right? The the sharpness of the pixel, uh, the the texture of the pixel, um, you know, the the brightness of the pixel uh, can be represented uh, by this uh, half of the equation. Uh, and then the other part of this equation is what we are interested in, right? You can call it as the as the real star in, in this part uh, because it represents uh, the phase, right? Um, you can, you know, the the e there that's just the Euler's uh, number. Uh, it's, it's a mathematical way of, you know, keeping the amplitude and, and the phase uh, uh, neatly uh, uh, separated, right? So uh, for video magic, right? What well, what this means is that. You know, the, the, you know, for the face, it tracks the actual motion at that point, right? How much the pixel has shifted over time, right? Due to the, uh, you know, due to vibration, right? And, and this is where, you know, the magic happens because when the structure moves, even, you know, uh, a few microns, just just a little bit, you know, the, bright, the brightness of that pixel barely changes, right? Uh, but the phase shift is noticeable. You know the the pixel actually you know change in position. So instead of just you know looking at the pixel brightness, we focus on how phase changes uh, between frames, right? So the phase change is you know sometimes can be extremely sensitive to small or subtle movement, and and, and this is actually what makes our video video magic uh, a very strong technology because uh, we are able to you know look at uh, changes that um, can never be you know otherwise uh, seen by by naked eye right so once we extracted this uh, face space uh, motion field uh, we amplify it by a factor of alpha uh, think of alpha as a motion, you know, zoom level, uh, maybe 10 times, uh, maybe 100, you know, 100 times. Um, actually, before extracting, um, you know, before amplifying, you know, the the phase uh, variation, uh, we isolate the, the frequency band that we're interested in. So this is a very interesting uh, topic for another time, uh, because uh, for video magic, uh, we use uh, an unsupervised blind source uh, separation, right? A, a machine learning algorithm to actually help with uh, with the frequency uh, band selection, right? So instead of uh, using a, a, a band pass filter, uh, where you need to know uh, the frequency of the object at which you're looking at, uh, a, for video magic, uh, we don't have to use that. Uh, we use some machine learning to to solve that problem. Um, so the, the the next step then would be uh, the actual reconstruction of the of the video. Uh, and and this uh, equation here uh, helps uh, with that. And you know it gives us uh, you know a result where the real motion is preserved. Uh, uh, but now you know it's and large uh, enough uh, to, to for us to be able to see uh, clearly. Um, so to, to, to sum this up, right, the, you know, why why does this work, right? Um, the local amplitude, you know, tells us where strong features are in a pixel, you know, but, uh, you know, sometimes when you have a very subtle motion, uh, the amplitude is not enough, right, to tell you all of the information of the pixels. Uh, but the local phase, you know, tells us how, you know, those features, you know, actually moves uh, over time. 
and, and by extracting and amplifying uh, the face, uh, we can visually reveal a uh, structural vibration uh, with sub-pixel uh, accuracy, you know, using nothing more than, you know, just a video. Um, and this is what makes uh, video magic uh, very powerful. Uh, it's not just, you know, a, a, a you know, pretty, you know, visual uh, technology. It's, you know, it's backed by, you know, uh, by science and it tells the, the truth about how the structure uh, behaves uh, in, 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 in the real world. So why choose face-based motion over traditional, you know, intensity-based methods like uh, like optical flow, right? Well, intensity tracking depends on visual contrast. Uh, we've seen that in the equation. It struggles with low lightning, uh, textureless, you know, surface. Uh, depends on the color of you know of the object. You might not be able to really you know, get a motion, you know, out of the pixel, um, or, uh, you know, if the, if the movement is, is, is very small, you might not be able to uh, track it using, you know, using method like uh, optical flow, all right? Um, but for face-based uh, method, uh, it's more sensitive, you know, more robust, you know, more precise, uh, with our technology of uh, video magic, each pixel acts uh, like a sensor, right? You, you get millions of, you know, measurement points, you know, which is, you know, correspond to uh, millions of, uh, of pixels, right? If you're using a, a 4K resolution, uh, you, you get, you know, um, you know, you get a, a 4K by 4K uh, measurement uh, of pixels, which is millions and millions of pixels, right? Uh, it's, it's fast delivering uh, full field results in, in under uh, seconds. Uh, it, it's, you know, uh, automated. Uh, it's, you know, we use fully unsupervised uh, machine learning. Uh, I'll be talking about that in, in, in our you know, next uh, webinar. Um, and, and all of it is, is processed with a standard video. Uh, you don't need a specialized uh, equipment. You just need a cell phone. Um, so for real world engineering and diagnostics, uh, this is a game changer. And, um, you know, video magic is at the forefront of it. So here we see a, a, a simple uh, cantilever beam, but a very powerful demonstration of uh, video magic in action. Uh, on the left side of the screen, uh, you're looking at the original video of the cantilever beam. Uh, the beam is vibrating but the, the motion is so small so subtle it's invincible to the naked eye you you cannot see it right and it actually vibrating in you know different modes of vibration you know for structural dynamic uh, people uh you know you know that the beam is vibrating in multiple modes you know the bending mode the, the twisting mode right uh, but you cannot see that right uh but on the on the right hand side, uh, that's the, uh, you know, we've applied face based motion magnification, you know, using uh, video magic, right? Uh, and uh, I, you can see clearly the, the beam uh, flexes in response to uh, an external uh, excitation. Uh, a, a model armor was actually uh, used uh, for this experiment. So, you know, and what you're seeing is not a simulation, it's not an animation, um, it's the actual structural motion uh, measured from the video uh, and, and magnified in a way that, you know, preserve the, the true uh, uh, physics of, uh, of the beam, right? So you can now, you know, clearly observe uh, the deflection shape, uh, the oscillatory behavior, uh, and even in terms of the damping as the as the you know motion decays, right? And and that's why this matters, right? Uh, you know, for example, uh, for bridges, um, you know, you can use this uh, uh, video magic uh, to to look at how the bridges are behaving uh, with time, and also uh, for power electronics. Uh, you can look at how some of the different parts 
on the uh, power electronics uh, behave uh, during a, a, a power cycle, right? If you're doing an uh, accelerated uh, testing, uh, you are able to use this technology uh, to look at uh, before and you know after hours and hours uh, of subjecting uh, an electronic board uh, to, to a power cycle and, and and kind of see how different parts you know inside of the you know inside of the electronic bolts uh, uh, behaves right. So in conclusion, uh, we discuss phase-based amplification uh, methods that actually uh, track the phase uh, variation of a pixel, um, and also uh, we talked about the motion magnification that you know had a a, a factor of alpha to the um, amplified phase uh, to get a, a magnified uh, video. Um, so I'll, I'll leave you with three takeaways um, in this presentation. And the, the first one is that video magic transform ordinary videos into high fidelity structural sensing tool. Uh, whether it's a smartphone, uh, a thermal imager, uh, a lab camera, uh, every frame contains data we can extract and uh, and interpret and, and, and that's a big deal uh, for our technology um, the second is that uh, every pixel becomes a sensor so you can imagine if you have a, a 12 mp uh, camera all of the 12 mp are uh, you know millions and millions of pixels are actually uh, a sensor uh, and by analyzing our face information we uh, capture motion at sub uh, pixel resolution that gives us a full field uh, diagnostic without ever needing to uh, physically uh, touch the structure, right? Uh, and then lastly, uh, this technology is not for the future. Uh, it's actually available now. Uh, Video Magic is real time, flexible, you know, field uh, deployable, uh, making it ideal for commercial use in, in aerospace, uh, infrastructure, uh, energy system, power electronic system, uh, and beyond. Uh, my name is Taufik Oregon, uh, and thanks for listening.